Arizona heads to UCLA. UCLA, a 19.5 point favorite. Total of 78. Latest numbers at BetUS. 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. This one's going to be on Fox. UCLA quietly just rolling along, doing their thing. We all know exactly what Chip Kelly is at this point, but he has got a a pretty dominant football team. Uh, yeah, they had the the hiccup in Eugene. That was against a really good Oregon team. I don't know that Arizona is really good. Let's look at the trends. Arizona two seven and one against the spread in their last ten against UCLA. Uh, just there's been a talent disparity here, and even when UCLA was not very good, they still were able to handle Arizona. Arizona four and one against the spread their last five after a straight up loss. They are one and two against the spread in their last three on the road. Uh, they haven't had to play a lot of road games thus far. Uh, UCLA, 11-0 against the spread against a team with a losing record. I mean, that's a crazy stat, right? If it's a if it's not a good team, UCLA beats them to a pulp. Uh, they are 8-1 and one against the spread in their last nine against Pac-12 competition. The only one that they did not cover was in Eugene, Oregon earlier this year. So, let's take a look. Let's see what the numbers say. Uh, they're favored by 19 and a half. I've got them favored by 28 and a half over the past five weeks looking at the numbers. This Arizona defense is maybe as bad as they get. Number 131 PPA per drive on defense. That is worst in the country over the last five weeks. Uh, now the Arizona offense is pretty good. Number 24 in offensive PPA per drive. But UCLA's offense, number one. Number one in PPA per drive. Now the UCLA defense, pretty bad. Number 118. Uh, in PPA per drive. Now, if you just look at PPA per play, uh, that's where there's, you know, a a little bit of an advantage. Uh, UCLA is number 97 in that spot. Arizona still number 131. They are dead last. Uh, They give up just... They're they're number 129. Arizona is number 129 in passing success rate allowed on defense. They are number 131 in rushing success rate allowed. UCLA... They're going to give the ball to Zach Charbonnet. They're going to let DTR run. They've got a stable of backs behind Charbonnet that will also be able to run. They are awesome. Number five in offensive line yards, number three in rushing success rate, number one in PPA per rush. They run the ball like 54% of the time. They're they're really good at this. And Arizona's got nothing that can stop them. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit of a problem. Points per scoring opportunity, Arizona number 120 on defense, and UCLA is number 10. Like, this is this is a mismatch on that side of the ball. Now, you move to the other side, and yeah, it's a little bit of a mismatch for uh, UCLA and their defense as well. Arizona, uh, number two in PPA per rush, number one in rushing success rate, but they only run the ball 38% of the time. They're number 42 in PPA per pass, number 34 in passing success rate. Um, they throw the ball 61% of the time. The UCLA defense is not good against the run, but Arizona doesn't run the ball as much. So that's the biggest issue. The fact that Arizona wants to throw the ball, uh, maybe a little bit of, maybe a bit of an advantage for UCLA is that they are number seventy six in PPA per pass, right? So that that's something to pay attention to. Uh, you look at scoring opportunities per game. Uh, UCLA gives up quite a few of those. Uh, Arizona's number thirty one, um, but when when it comes down to points per scoring opportunity. That's where Arizona gets uh, caught up. They they stop themselves sometimes. They are number 66 in points per scoring opportunity over the last five weeks. UCLA's defense is number 94 there. Uh, as far as offensive red zone conversion percentage, uh, Arizona is number 92 on the full season of red zone touchdown rate, 57%. That's number 92 in the country. Um, I, I think UCLA is going to have zero problems putting the ball in the end zone, and I think that Arizona will stop themselves enough to where I think that UCLA is going to be able to put up just a ton of points. My my total on this is way off, uh, which I'm working on my my totals formula. Um, but it's got UCLA winning this like 40 to 11. I think it's probably going to be closer to you know at 49 to at 49 to 20 somewhere around there. Uh, so I I think I think UCLA covers this. Uh, I think they. I know it is a bit of a look-ahead spot because UCLA and USC play next week, but this it, it, it don't take much. Like UCLA does not have to stress a lot as far as moving the football here. Yeah, give me UCLA to cover uh, the 19 and a half here. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at GaryWCE. 
and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.